Rated M for Mature. What's going on, people? Fam Entertainment here from TICGN.com. Welcome to episode 27 of the Double XP Podcast. Today we are talking E3, and we will proclaim a victor, which some of us already know who the victor will be, and it's, it's that best box. But uh, we're going to get the introductions going off bright and early. We're gonna, see, speaking of bright, <laughs> we're going to start off with my light-skinned brother from somebody else's mother. Mr. Nicodemus X. Some some told me you was gonna segue into that at the same break. I, I, I just freaking knew it, dog. I knew it. Why 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 am I always the one to be picked on, man? I don't understand this. Ever since high school. But anyway, <laughs> Mr. Nicodemus, the king of Indies himself, aka Mr. White, right and damn near white, ready to uh, have another good podcast. All right. Next up, we got my right hand, one man. Miss, I'm going to say something nasty every episode. Miss 2v1 herself. Man, don't, don't tell that Mama's lie like that. <laughs> don't even put that out there like that. Tell it's that lie. Go I mean, I say something nasty every episode. No, it is. I not watch every episode. This mama okay. said it. What? We say it's not done purposely. We apologize. Yeah, to, no nasty girl. Anyway, this is Mama Sita. I'm a classy game of gal. Y'all know I'm promised to keep it classy and I'm um, ready to talk about E3 and and um, these games that we're looking forward to play. Playing. Right. Next up, we got my girl, which I told y'all you can't say nothing bad about without me and Nick coming for you. Cry girl, what's happening? What's going on, people? How y'all doing? What's happening? Uh, ready to talk about what we always want to talk about when we on here. Some games for every console. I can't wait. It's almost Christmas for us. So, yeah, man, I'm I'm ready. I'm so ready for And then my birthday is coming up, too. E3 is always right around my birthday. So, double Christmas for me. <laughs> for real. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah, my uh, birthday is Monday. All right, girl. Oh, happy uh, birthday, sister. Yeah, happy birthday to you. Yeah, I'm going to be old, man. I'll be 29. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. Girl, yeah. please. Damn. Yeah, you right. Oh, look it, you though. Know you know what? Yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I don't look it, but yeah, man, I'm going to be old. I ain't old like you, though, Nick, but we, I'm getting mm. you and Barbara. What? <laughs> you don't even know how old I am. Stop it. <laughs> you like it. You're old. Man, y'all, y'all past the three and the O. Mm. <laughs> I'll be three old November. You know I love y'all, man. You know, you know, know it's, it's like we couldn't get light enough. Like it could, it wasn't bright enough in the room. So let's go get another light skinned brother, which you already know. It's gonna be lit today. It's gonna be a movie. Barry, what's happening with you, brother? Hey yo, what is good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? It's your boy Jay Barry. What's up, PlayStation.com? I'm here on the Double XP Podcast. It's about to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all already know, we can't talk Xbox without the best bot in the building. My brother from way back when, Kid Smooth. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is the best bot, Kid Smooth. And this feels familiar. Got Nicodemus and Fame. And Mama Cita, oh, and Crunk Girl, yeah, this this feels really familiar. So, what's yeah, up? Yeah, we've been here before. Yo, shout out to Kia Smooth, who was in a party chat with well, He invited me to a party chat. They're gonna lead the party chat. And don't even say five. Like, who does that, bro? <laughs> What happened, yeah, bro? Hey, hey, smooth. The thing is, though, when they said, I said, well, he he do that all the time. He'll be back. No, <laughs> he I know. Never come I got, back. I got dragged. He I never came back. Was, I got no. I should have. I, I should have came. Uh, I should have came back. But I <laughs> ran into another party and I found myself dozing off. So I'm like, yeah, that was my fault. I did. I did have full intentions of going back. I usually don't vacate a party. I start. Um, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> no hard feelings. That was that was not. Popular. I oh, no, full I intentions. I had full intentions of staying in that party, but. I got dragged out. You know, people start talking, and I I started to fall asleep. And I was like, "No, I'm going to bed." So. It's all good. <laughs> so before we get into the bread and butter of um of the show tonight, 
What is everybody playing? Ma, what you playing right now? No, the question is what uh what what am I not playing? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. I see them Chivo's been racking up on your on your uh on your profile. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm killing it. Hey, I hit a milestone for this month. I hit ten thousand. Okay. That's, yeah. that's a that's a milestone. But that you know, that ten thousand is coming from the backlog. So I've been I've been hitting that backlog like the beginning of the month, and then I just kind of play my my puzzle games towards the end. And so next month I plan to do the same thing. It won't be ten thousand next month, but oh man, what what have I been playing? Oh my gosh, it, I have a, a kind of a lengthy list because I've been playing everything from uh, Skyrim to um, let me see. I think I hit on Enigmatis too again. Finished that up. Went back with some Diablo. Cleaned up some achievements on that. Diablo three. So um, I just kind of been playing everything. I plan to jump into little nightmares tonight mm -hmm. and then uh, possibly unravel when I finish that. So that's what I will be playing. Okay. 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 Uh, Nick, what you playing brother? Um, no, I've been playing a couple of games, but I'm only going to mention one right now. Um, I've been playing next machina. I was able to get into the beta for that. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's made by Housemark Games, the same people that brought us Dead Nation, Alien Nation, and Resogun. And um, so, yo, this game is amazing, man. It's a twin stick shooter. If you liked Resogun and you like Alien Nation, you're gonna love this one. Um, it, it's, it runs so freaking smooth, man. Um, it, it has this incredible point system, reward system. Um, this type of game that you like literally can't put down. So I was actually debating uh, calling in sick today. You know what I'm saying? So I could get back on this game. But I was like, nah, Fame, Fame lived like 10, 15 minutes away. They're going to kill me. So um, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I better get on this podcast. <laughs> but no, I've been thoroughly enjoying the game, man. A lot of gameplay I'm putting up on my channel and stuff like that. I'm, I'm killing I'm killing these scores, man. People who in the beta on the leaderboard and stuff, I'm killing them right now. The king is in the building. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's great. Greatness. Crunk Girl, now, do I need to even ask you what you playing or are you still playing Persona? <laughs> She's uh -oh. muted, Kronk. She gone. My bad, y'all. Uh, yeah, I, I've been playing a little bit of Persona, but uh, I've been playing um For Honor um a lot. Uh, I actually like that game a lot. Um, been playing some Madden, um, and some Two K, and um, hop back on Tales uh Tales from the Borderlands. That's my oh, game. One of my favorite yeah, Telltale game. Playing it. I I've been had it, but you know it it. it just dawned on me that it was free on PlayStation Plus because I got it on disc. So I just, you know what I'm saying, downloaded that thing. Um, so I've been playing some of that too and getting double trophies because it seems like the disc and the actual digital has separate trophies, which is weird. Really? Yeah. That don't make no sense. Because when I load it, yeah, it's, it, it <clears> doesn't make sense. So I'm going to get those double trophies. I'm going to redo I'm gonna redo the, the chapters that I already did so I can get them extra trophies. So um yeah, I've been because when I when I downloaded it digital, different trophies a different trophy set popped up. Hmm. Why I don't know, but I'll take it. It's, I even though I don't chase trophies, I will take it. Um and what else have I been playing? Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I played a little bit of um uh. Shoot, Battlefield. I put a little bit of Battlefield uh, earlier this week. So that's what I've been up to. Now, Barry, I heard them sticks moving heavy before the show. <laughs> what you playing, brother? <clears throat> you talking about me? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my bad. I heard, I, heard them sticks, I heard them sticks before the show. Them hands were moving quick. So yeah. I know you playing some. Of course, man. You know, i um, been playing a little bit of Street Fighter. You know, new update just came out today. Uh, also, Injustice 2, you know, we just had a tournament uh, this weekend, uh, last weekend for Injustice 2. That was a movie. Uh, great event right there. Uh, I've been playing Friday the 13th, man. I said I wasn't going to get this game, but I kept watching some live streams. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm a little interested in this game. And the game looks horrible. The animations is bad. But it's fun as hell, man. Like, yeah, when you get a party together and play that game, you're going to have a movie event out there man so i'm really enjoying friday the 13th man uh also i gotta play my cod you know what i mean for my for my shoot 'em up bang bang you know anybody want that work 
you will get RP you will get body by this RPG guy in the first person shooters. That's a fact. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to finish Rise of the Tomb Raider, but for some strange reason, I don't know why I can't finish that game. It don't have that 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 hit like the the first uh, remastered game, in my opinion. And I went back to play Devil May Cry Four. There's a lot more other games. Oh, matter of fact, I got to talk about this. Yo, I play games out here, man. Don't, it's not a surprise. Don't be surprised. I play some games out here, but I've played the best VR game you can play. That is far point. Oh my God, Impulse Gear. Impulse Gear. Big shout out to Impulse Gear. Oh my God, that game was amazing, man. Yo, that is the best VR experience you can get. A full-fledged first-person shooter game in VR. You're going to be amazed playing this game. I kid you not. If you're not amazed playing that game, I will buy you the game and so you can refund it. Mm. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. I, I played Doom in VR and that joint was pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yo, I, yo it's, it's crazy like how how immersed that joint is. Yeah, I was playing this game and the enemies are smart, especially when you get to a certain point. I don't want to kill it. You can watch the live streams, but you get to a certain point, part, these guys is in cover. They're running, they're flanking. Yo, it is crazy, man. Um, So yeah, far point. If you got a place... How long is the game? How many hours? I mean, I uh, it's about five, six hours, uh, but they do have a co-op mode, so you can you can play with like a friend, and they do have like challenges, so it, it does have a lot of stuff to bring you back uh, to the game. So, how long can you play a VR game at one time? Oh, me, I can play mm-hmm. for hours. I can play for hours because, like, when I was playing Rigs, I was playing that three hours at a time, probably four hours. I got streams of that, um, so it don't matter. But yo, it, that game is just is it. You f- you you don't really feel like you have a VR on your head, honestly, because how you looking through your reticle with the aim gun? I'm, I was using the aim gun; it was just so fluid. It was just like it was natural to just do that. So I, I really enjoyed it a lot, man. Great game. That's what's up. Oh, good. Kiss moves. What you been playing, man? He gone. <clears throat> he gone. He gone. So we'll get back to Kiss Move when he decides to come back to the podcast. So before we get to, you know, Microsoft and Sony, that's people want really want to hear about as far as predictions and who going to win such and such. I want to see if y'all got any predictions, you know, in total of the other shows. Whether you got one for e, uh, EA, Ubisoft, Bethesda. I want what predictions y'all got for, any, for everything besides Microsoft and Sony. We're going to wait till we get to that part right there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kiss move back. Kiss move, you back? Yeah, I had to grab a piece of cornbread. My bad. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> what you been playing, man? <laughs> really? I've been cornbread. I enjoy Jiffy, though. Hope it's Jiffy. Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. okay. <laughs> um, now, I've been playing. Um, Wow, I've been cycling through some games, but I settled on Little Nightmares. I've been going through that. Uh, Little Nightmares helped me uh, in the last minute surge to get back into like the top. Uh, five in um, achievement leaderboards and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, that's the game I've been impl- playing and enjoying. Um, I'm trying to see what was I what was I playing before that? Just prior. Oh, I did the Walking Dead episode five. It was a episode maybe kind of sad, um, but it was good. And uh, I was been playing uh, Friday um, the thirteenth, and that game's horrible. Yo, that, yeah. jump, that jump butter, B. It's horrible. There, there is no excuse of how. It, n- n- all right. <laughs> I mean, if if you want to think, if yeah, the idea and its potential is completely butter. The game itself, as it is today, is horrible. It's clunky. It's clunky. I give you uh, the animations is weird. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Mister Official VG. I, I watched his um live stream and and he was being so dirty, not letting Brian him know he was actually Freddy. And just, and just playing with the fools as if he wasn't the one chasing. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, man, he's all quiet and shit. Oh, my bad. He's all quiet and stuff, man. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, um, I, I gave the panel some homework. Well, at least I know Nick, Mama, C, the Crunk had the homework. So, like I said, we're going to hold off on Microsoft and Sony. So, thinking of EA, Ubisoft, Bethesda, what do you guys think we're going to see 
from either one of those three or if you have something from all three, what they will get from those particular companies? Any type of predictions you guys think we'll see from those? Same old stuff. Who wants to go first? <laughs> they, well, those companies are so boring, man. That's what well, I know. Well, same I, old stuff. I just, you, know, you go ahead, Crump. Cause. Well, I'm a, I'm a sports person, so y'all know I'm re- I, I thoroughly enjoy EAs. People hate EA because a lot of people don't like sports games, but I'm one out of the few that does. I'm hoping and praying we get two, maybe two games that we I, – I pray we get these two games, but I, I hope – I think out of the two, I think we probably get one. The other one is just a fantasy, uh, which is a fight night. I want a fight night so bad. Like, God, dog. Like, fight I night needs to happen. I love mm-hmm. UFC, but come on, man. Like, bring, come on, man. Like, boxing is never going to get big anymore if you don't push Fright Night. Uh, fight Night can push a lot of young fighters, man. So, I'm praying we get another Fight Night. Um, And the second game is uh, Skate 4. I'm hoping that they actually reveal a show Skate 4. Um, they already done put up NBA Live, so I already know they're going to show that. I actually want to see it. I want to yeah, get see. on, get on it. Get, I don't know Yo, about the screenshots. Those screenshots look good. I want to see it though. Looks can be. I, look I want to see gameplay of it actually playing because the stuff they showed the other day ain't too. I don't know. I'm mm. still not sold. They fool um, games, yeah. I told cats they just need to have pro am, and if they can make a game off pro am and make it something like in. Excuse me, NBA ballers, where it's not so sim and make it arcade. I'll play the hell out of it. But as a sim basketball game, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how those those they took two years off. We'll see how those two years they took off how it helped. Um, I'm intrigued by that. Um, trying to think. Of course, Madden. Um, they're supposed to be switching over to Frostbite engine. So I want to see how that game reacts to switching engines, uh, because FIFA did it last year. They switched engines in in I think NHL switched to Frostbite engine. So uh, that's it for EA. I'm trying to think, and uh, I'm I'm wondering what smaller title they're gonna bring because you they usually bring one small like one like small title every every um E3. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm wondering, do they have another unravel or something like that? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I, know. I know it ain't FIFA. You know, old boy talking. <laughs> nah, I'm hyped for Lawbreakers on PS4, not Xbox One. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Whoa. the troll. Yeah. Uh, but for EA, what? I, I know everybody hates EA, so that's why I did EA first. <laughs> Don't nobody care about EA. They just skip EA completely. Anybody else? Uh, no, Eric in the chat said bring back NBA Street. That'd be dope. Rather than uh, NBA. Uh, but it's not it? coming. I'm telling we're you. Talk- that, Look, it's not coming. Battlegrounds is trash. No more. We're, we're talking about EA and Bethesda right now? Or EA, we talking- Bethesda, no, and Ubisoft. They were just saying, they and they were just saying anybody, right. and, and nobody didn't okay. know to start with. So I started with EA because you know I'm a sports fan. I don't think the only thing I see new EA doing um, is they're going to bring out a a Dragon Age type game um, if it's not Dragon Age itself. Um, I know they have it's either Dragon Age or a game they wanted to be since the last one. What, two? And two. Yeah, they may bring another one. Either I know they're going to bring out Dragon Age and I feel like they're going to bring out a a game to try to compete with the Division and Destiny, one of those type of games. but I, I don't have any more information in regards to that. Um, obviously, we're going to see Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, mm-hmm. The sexiness we call NBA Live, the best basketball sim on the planet. <laughs> um, <laughs> Madden, you know, the thing about NBA Live, we're going we're gonna to see their promising story mode. Madden's finally going to get a decent story mode, uh, a real story mode, actually. And um, I really don't care to see FIFA. Yeah, we're going to see... Four. We're gonna see FIFA on a Switch is is gonna be the next FIFA on a Switch for the next five years. Um, Damn, <laughs> they're not. It is what it is. They they're not. Hey, they're not doing like they annual. Talk about Madden games. though, though, man. You know Madden had a story mode before. It, it, when like when's the last time they had a story mode? 
It's been a minute, but they had one. Yeah, so they're bringing it back. Yeah. And um, I think <sighs> Bethesda, Evil Within 2, and uh, another Wolfenstein um, type game. And they better uh, announce the next Elder Scrolls. Wolfenstein yes. will be better. I think another Evil Within would be dope. I thought Elder Scrolls would, would, would get announced last year. Yeah, I don't think they're doing no, it. No, because they're they're too busy. Like you know, there's even though they they didn't make Elder Scrolls Online, but they're publishing the Morrowind uh, expansion for Elder Scrolls Online. That's going to have a big um, presence at E3 this year. So yeah, I don't I was, see another. I don't see another Elder Scrolls game like a follow up to Skyrim or anything like that. I, I'm not I seeing. I don't want to see another Elder Scrolls for at least another maybe two years. Yeah. Oh, we aren't gonna see the game. I'm talking about just announced that uh, that officially announced that they're working on the game. We know that they are. They ain't gonna do that. Just, they with Fallout. just, they do. just, just say. Don't tell me what they ain't gonna do. I'm saying, <laughs> okay. I'm saying I want them. They gonna do it like they did. Just, to just. I don't care if you show a picture that says Elder Scrolls Six coming soon. I don't care. Just do that. <laughs> That's enough for me. They're gonna do it like they did Fallout because they saw what success they had with that. When they yeah. when they show a game, they're gonna bring it that year. I got a yeah. feeling that's what they're gonna. I don't do. say they don't have to show the game. What I said was this official announced that they are working on the game. That's what I said. Just just, Y'all not tired just of tell me that. Death? No, obviously they don't bring them out that often. No. the last Elder Scrolls was out 2011. It was mm-hmm. 11, 11, 11, November 11, 2011 was when that game was released and prior to that oblivion i believe was 2006. so every five to six years so this is 2017 so we are six years out of the original elder scroll so it is about time for the next elder scroll they don't they don't really bring them out like that like that's one thing i can say they take their time when it comes to elder scrolls like it don't just be two, three years, they take a lot of time. Right, and we're in the sixth year. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just confused because they overreport it. Like they always drop yeah, it. Yeah, that was so. kind of like yeah, the special that. edition. <laughs> they poured it over to the uh, current gen. Yeah. Nah, I would rather like a new IP rather than that. <laughs> No, nah, they they're gonna make another Elder Scrolls. Yeah, they're not dumb. They're gonna- the, the Skyrim was too successful, and Skyrim was the first series, actually, that crossed over, uh, crossed over to like your hardcore RPG fans. You had people playing Skyrim that had never played role playing games before, so they're definitely gonna bring another Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but it does what it does. Like it's coming. Yeah, it does. I mean, you can, you can, if you go on Xbox Live and see some of the top 10, top 15 games that are being played now, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim Special Edition is on it. So, yeah. I can, I can agree with that. I think they're going to have another one come out. I think, I still think either another Wolfenstein or another Evil Within is coming. I would rather, I would rather Wolfenstein, yeah. me personally. I think, I think, I think Wolfenstein is going to come back too. They're going to do another one. Yeah, they're due for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was pretty popular. It sold pretty well. The, um, the one that came out this game. <laughs> Do any of you guys think Ubisoft is actually going to give us another Splinter Cell this year? Or announce a Splinter Cell this year? It's about year? time. I want one. I want one for everybody, though. But if it's exclusive or something like that, that'll be dope, too. It's, I think it's time for uh, Sam Fisher to, to come back. Oh, there's definitely one coming. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I know. Yeah. I, and it's I know. coming this year, too. Why you sound like a movie? <laughs> uh, because I want you to come in this year. Definitely. 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 I'm glad, man. I wanted to come. I like Sam Fisher. I love the um the freaking. That's the one that show. usually it's usually exclusive to Xbox, right? Like that that, that series. No, it, it, no, I, it, it's it's, it's multi plat uh, but it, it has a heavy identification with Xbox with being Xbox, that some yeah. some of the tumor. I think some of the uh a splinter cells have been like actually full blown exclusives, like like at least three of them. Okay, yeah, I always identify with Xbox. So I think different. I think it was only like uh conviction that was. Yeah, it was only one. No, nah, it wasn't the, the first one. one have, exclusive. It's the only one I haven't played. Yeah, the, other ones, the other one was on PS2. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have to say all the rest of the splinter cells uh, I played because I was. But it do, it do have a it do have a, a heavy tie in with Xbox. Uh, yeah. That's why I wouldn't be surprised. 
wouldn't be surprised at all. And I, I'm happy because I like Splinter Cell. So that would be dope. I want to see where they take Sam Fisher's story. There's a lot of different places they can take it. I just don't want it to be generic. Anybody else got anything on these three? Ma, Nick, um, before we get into the meat and potatoes? How, yeah, how many, how many new IPs do you think Ubisoft is going to bring? Because they usually bring at least one or two. Mm, yeah, that's true. Um, well, they they're busy. They got the crew too. They got Far Cry Five. They got the Assassin's Creed. They got, they got, they, they got the know fractured that. butthole. They're gonna bring. I, I don't think they're gonna they bring. Gotta, they got to show. They got to show stuff. They're, they're, they're gonna, gonna show one game we don't know about. Division DLC, like a new expansion. <laughs> <or something. laughs> it's gonna be one game we don't know about because they do it every year. They at least gonna tease something new. I agree with Crunk. Since 2013, they show something. What, oh, 2013? they're gonna show Need for Speed. There's a new one coming. Uh huh. There's a new Need for Speed coming, but we know about that, it. I'm talking about that's not one. Ubisoft, though. So. That's EA. Yeah, that's that, EA. Okay, EA, so yeah, EA, 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 EA. EA. They, Ubisoft got the crew too. Yeah, it's the. I'm, I'm, they I'm, might. They might. They might. They might venture back into that. Uh, the crew. What What all did they show? They showed the division one year. Then they showed um. Uh, Watch Dogs one year that was new. Um, then they brought back Ghost Recon. That was one that was new. That not new, but they brought that back. Um, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. That was something we didn't expect coming. So they they and then they got a they got franchises that they can bring back. I, and then Ghost Recon Wildlands is doing better than I think they thought it was gonna do because that joint's selling. <laughs> that joint is always on the charts. Yeah, all I want to see from those three is. Wolfenstein from Bethesda, EA. I just want Star Wars. Just give me the more Star Wars. I don't really care about whatever. Else. Wars, EA, come my way. Who else he said? Well, you know the Amy Hennig game is supposed to get shown. From what I've heard this year, I think Amy Hennig is gonna show something this year from the Star Wars. We might not get it this year, but I think she's gonna show it. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna show it because she sh she didn't show much last year, but they talked about it. So if they talked about it last year, I think they're gonna show something this year. There's gonna be a full-on story this time, right? They're gonna have like a deep story. Yeah, but that's not Amy Hennig. That's the actual uh, Battlefront. Amy Hennig's game uh, is totally different. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Amy I thought Hennig she was. I thought she was writing a story for it, though. I thought she was writing a story for Battlefront. Mm mm. Mm mm. Her game. Battlefront gonna have a story too. Yeah, it is, but her her game is separate from from the Star Wars Battlefront. Hers is completely separate. Hey, Mama Cita. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which, which side do you, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the meat potatoes. Which side do you want to go first? Which side? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna so play Microsoft PlayStation or Xbox. Microsoft no, or Sony. Wait, talk about Nintendo? No, go ahead and let the PlayStation let them let, me, let them get that stuff out the way first. Um, All right, so <laughs> representing the PlayStation side of these predictions, Nicodemus <laughs> X, J Barry, and Crunk Girl. You guys have the floor, and Team Xbox is gonna sit back here with our hands up. Just don't shoot. <laughs> all, right. Thing. Uh, all right, uh, let, let, let our guests go first. Uh, my man Barry, go ahead and start this off. Right? I mean, I mean, listen, <laughs> anybody that think PlayStation is not gonna have a amazing E3 is on drugs. I think you're high, you need to get off of whatever you're on. They're gonna kill it this year at E3. There's too many games that we saw like little previews of uh, from last year or even PlayStation experience that we they have to show some gameplay or speak up to be speak on during E3. The Spider-Man, the the Days Gone, even uh Kojima game, you might get more gameplay of that. Uh God of War, The Last of Us 2. <laughs> These, these, I, I'm just naming the big ones. I'm not even naming like the smaller ones and stuff like that. You know, they, they, they got so many angles or so many things they can speak about with games on VR. If, you know, for people that, you know, ap appeal to that, uh, there's, there's a rumor about a um, new handheld. There's just so much things where they can base their show on that is going to please the PlayStation fan base, regardless of how they go. There's just too much games to announce. For them to speak about it, it's going to be crazy, man. It, it's going to be crazy for PlayStation. I ain't hear no predictions. <laughs> oh, you want to get predictions? <laughs> 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 I thought we were just talking about the show. I was like, all right, okay, okay, predictions. We're going to predictions out the way, and then we'll we'll come back into. Yo, 
earlier earlier this year, I made a crazy prediction. Uh, it's like probably like two months ago. I was talking about E3, and I said that I feel like there's gonna be a comeback with SOCOM. So that's my crazy, crazy prediction. There will be a comeback uh, for a SOCOM game on PlayStation 4. How much prediction are you supposed to do? Whatever you want to do, my brother. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Sucker Punch. Uh, we were waiting for their game. That is going to um, have its reveal at E3. Uh, we're definitely going to see some Last of Us like story gameplay is gonna be like a little vertical slice, you know how E3 is. They're gonna be looking good, it's gonna look amazing. Everybody's gonna be off their seats. You know, you're gonna see the hashtag blah 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 Xbox, how we wanna fill that blank in with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh all right, prediction, prediction, prediction. Oh there's, there will there will be oh, there man, will that. Like right now. What was that? It's not like Prince, you're gonna extra light skin in the night, man. <laughs> <laughs> the light skin is delicious. <laughs> there will be a new uh, handheld. I don't know if it's going to be called Vita 2 or whatever. It's going to be a new handheld. And we're going to hear stuff about a new playable controller for VR. It's kind of uh, like uh, like a motion controller or, or the glove kind of thing for VR. Um, but yeah, my crazy prediction, that what I'm going to say is that SOCOM will will uh, make a comeback on PS4. All right. Well, let me let me go. I'm gonna be let me be quick because I've been spending these predictions on like two or three shows already. But um, <laughs> so 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 the prediction I'm I'm going with right now is that uh, we're not gonna see like Bloodborne two at E3. You're not gonna see Bloodborne two. I think that mm -hmm. um I think that FromSoft uh, is going to be coming with a, a new IP. They're gonna go in a different direction. You're gonna get a Bloodborne two eventually, but it's not gonna happen at this E this E3. Uh, so I think they're gonna surprise us with that. It's gonna be a new IP, and it, 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 there's rumors going on around this. Basically, it's gonna be like martial arts style, um, and you basically you're gonna be able to upgrade like your um, fighting skills rather than weapons. It's still gonna be the so soul style game, uh, but it's gonna be brighter. It's gonna be like um, I think it's got like a Mayan Aztec aesthetic uh, behind it. So that's the rumor going around. So I'm inclined to believe that, and actually I'm kind of hopeful of that because I mean Bloodborne is cool and everything. But uh, a sequel, I mean, I'm not really hyped for it because I didn't understand that damn story for nothing. So I'm not, I have no attachment to Bloodborne. You know what I'm saying? So um, you wasn't exploring, my brother. You was not exploring. I was. I didn't understand nothing. I, I explored in and out that game. Everything I read, dog, I didn't understand. Shit, nothing. So it made no sense to me <laughs> at all, dog. I see, I see. A lot of people can miss the story in Bloodborne. So I get you. Yeah, but I, I beat it, though. Um, <laughs> Let me see what else. What else? Oh yeah, God of War. Uh, God of War. I've been saying this, and I want everybody to praise my name when it comes true. That uh, it's going to get a release date, and it's going to be coming this year. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's yep. So praise, time. praise, praise my holy name when this comes true. Mm. Uh, because I'm the only one saying this right now. And um, let me see. I agree with Bari with everything else except for the handheld thing. I do not think they're going to show for a handheld. Um, I don't think they should. I think Sony should just keep it with the software. And if they are going to show any hardware, whatever, it needs to be, you know, the VR stuff, which they don't need to show VR. And anyway, besides maybe that controller you're talking about. But other than that, everything just needs to be software with Sony right now. They don't even need to worry about hardware whatsoever. Um, so it's definitely going to be a good show. I think the show um, pacing is going to be good. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm hoping it's not as fast as last year. A lot of people love that, but I hope they kind of slow it down a little bit and kind of let the devs talk some about their games just a little. Um, skip all that sales crap and all that stuff. They leave that out of there, all that corporate bullshit. But, you know, um, I think they need to slow it down just a bit this year. But I do think it's going to be an outstanding show. There's really no way it's not going to be a good show. Mm -hmm. You know how I think that Sony could really make it an awesome show, Nicodemus? Is Have it, me on stage? Yeah, well, that too. Okay. And then if you go out there on stage with, with Yoshi, Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Who is Yoshi? Okay. This is short for Yoshi. All right. Oh, okay. Walk on out there with them. Like, I, I, seriously, though, mm -hmm. they get out there and announce that they have revamped PSN. They have bought over 300,000 servers, and PlayStation Network is now going to be worth your $60. I mm -hmm. think that oh. would just blow the roof off, oh. off the building. Oh. 
I you smell know it. Shots. Bang, bang. I smell shots. Huh? I smell <laughs> shots right now. I, I smell the gunfire. I smell the gunfire right now. Even though PSN is <laughs> that wasn't shots. Even though PSN, <laughs> yes, it was. Is, on, even though PSN <laughs> is on par with Xbox Live at this time, right. it's on par with it. You, you're thinking about PS3 right. days. You're still living in the past when Xbox 360 mm-hmm. was the king of that shit. Um, mm-hmm. It's not. It's not anymore. It's pretty much the same now. No, it's uh, not. So no, it's not. That, no, that's it's not. Even just don't uh, even. You know, it's sometimes you just. I was on it. Sometimes you just have to so take your L with certain it, things. All right, we, we can no, we can give no, you the games right now, no, all right? No, but you got to no. take your L's on the network, no, especially no, the network, no. the features and the services. You got to take your L. Oh, oh Bar, yeah, you the I, features I, and I, the services, dude. Bar, you gonna let her talk about the features? I just said that the game. Listen, listen, listen. We already know, man. Words ain't nothing the actions speak louder exactly There's, there are more people on psn there are more there are more yo P- playstation network playstation plus is just a better surface overall than Wait xbox live <laughs> come on you can't uh, even say that uh, with uh, a straight uh, face and uh, you know there's also Jabari, there's more, also more people in China than there is America. I don't think it makes it a better place. <laughs> just no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, oh, I'm just, man. In China, China do has to monitor more people than here. Oh, That's what I'm saying. That's why I brought that up. But if you look at the service from service and what they offer, PlayStation, PSN offers more than Xbox Live. You have services like SharePlay. Do you have that on Xbox Live? No, you don't. Well, there's also play. something called Microsoft Method. Points where I can go onto my phone and my tablet and my computer and I can oh, search my, and I can search. OK. And, and through my searches, I can collect points every month. Oh, that's, that's right. No, this is no. And you I can also buy I can old. buy a sixty dollars. <laughs> I can buy a sixty dollar Xbox Live card like every two or three months. Mama, see, I'm trying to tell you. And for every game that I purchase on my Xbox or through the Microsoft Store, I I get back points towards my games. There isn't a time I haven't gone into my account where my Xbox Live account is sitting there with anywhere between five and sixty dollars. So then, when I go and purchase a game, I can just deduct that money towards future games. Tell me what service that Sony has. I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to tell you that's old. We've been doing that. That since isn't old. I it's can't called, do that on my PlayStation called, Network. Called, yes, you can. No, I cannot. You Every time I back one store, you show get me stuff. a service where I can go in it's, it's on my, on my, my PlayStation. Like two grand to get like five dollars back. No, no, no I have not, to get a credit no, card. You get, you get, you get points and you get reward points for every purchase you do on the PlayStation Network store. There's times where I get I get points where I I'll, I'll buy a network card digital code just because of all my points on place. I, I've been doing that since I've PS3. been on PSN that straight for the past that's, couple of years, and I was on PSN. Things, that's one of the things with Xbox. I, I got to give them credit with because a lot of things this generation they've been copying what PlayStation has been doing. Oh, we're playing the copy don't game, put that out there. That's I mean, we, copy we can go tick for tat with a copy uh-uh, game. Uh-uh, no, you shouldn't put that out there. Because yeah. here's the thing. I'm <laughs> on PSN. I'm on PSN. There. You must forget, Barry. I'm on PSN. And I buy digital games from PSN, too. And there hey. hasn't been a time where there's been money sitting in my Sony account. No, Not you, one you, time. You have, a, you have a PlayStation Rewards account. Every time you b- purchase something on PSN, it goes towards that account. You're talking about the PlayStation Awards where if I get a Sony credit card? No, no, you don't got to get a Sony credit card. Whatever, whatever purchases you do on on PlayStation, if you have a rewards account that links to your PlayStation account, mm-hmm. it's gonna go towards it. I I link I I, I get rewards all the time on here. Yeah, me on he does too. I know one time he got like what a hundred dollars or something like that back. I think mm-hmm. he spent like a hundred in the store and then got back got back money. My rewards right now is like at twenty. Yeah, I'm making up stuff. I'm going. Oh, I'm going go on, go on my PSN right on. night. Let's get back on topic because we still got a lot of mm-hmm. stuff to cover. So, Barry, <laughs> Barry keep going. Then we got or oh, is it Nick? Keep going. Then nah, we got Crumb Girl. Nah, Crumb. Nick, Nick, Nick is going. Crumb, Crumb next. I'm, I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> nah, it's Nick on me. Get back to it. Go, go ahead, Crump. I right, for me, um, like Barry said, I've been. I think I said this last uh podcast. I truly feel that a handheld is coming. I still think that P- the the first Vita was before its time, and that the Vita should have came out with the PS4. So I believe that they hopefully they learn from their mistakes and 
Don't give up on the machine. That's actually a great piece of tech. And bring some games to it this time around because they got the fan base now uh, for the PS4, and they all they need to do is just put some games on it. Um, that the uh, a new Vita will be coming. Um, I think out of the, it's it's three games that I think may drop this winter, but I'm not sure. It's either going to be Days Gone, God of War, or Spider Man. One out of those three, I think, is going to drop this year. I'm kind of leaning towards Spider-Man. I'm hoping it's Spider-Man because I'm God of War, cool, okay, but I can always wait on God of War. Days Gone, me and Barry have been calling Days Gone for the past, what, Barry, two years? We've oh, been yeah. waiting for um, Sony Ben to, to, to show Days Gone. So we actually yeah. we thought they were going to show it in 2015, and they actually were going to show it, and they changed their minds. And they showed it at E3, so I'm I'm more looking forward to Spider Man than I am um, God of War because we haven't had a great Spider Man game since PS2. Mm. So and then plus it's Insomniac and I PlayStation most PlayStation gamers I know we love Insomniac and then Ratchet and Clank I think also put Insomniac back on the map and put them back in the forefront of, of developers that people should pay attention to. Um, Cause that game was amazing. So I'm looking forward to Spider Man. Hopefully we get another uh, uh, another great superhero game because we've been missing it. Uh, the only great superhero game I know we got is Batman, and that's about it. So um, is that? Um, I also I expect um, Sucker Punch to show a new IP. I think Sony's going to show two new IPs this year, maybe three. We may get one new IP for the VR, and we may get two new v, uh, IPs for uh, PS4. Um, so I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. I think I don't, I don't know what other studio is gonna show something because they always show something crazy at the end of the show. So hopefully it's something we not, we won't see coming. Um, and hopefully from Sucker Punch we we see something different too. I don't want to see um another. Uh, Second Son or Infamous. I want to see something completely different. There's no excuse for them not to have a new IP by now. If Guerrilla Games can come out with Horizon, all the other teams can start to to, to uh, make new franchises. Nah, so, it's definitely going to be new. It definitely yeah, be. it's got to be something brand new that we, we've never seen from them before because if Guerrilla Games can go from making a first-person shooter to a, a RPG third-person type game, I think... The rest of the people that we ha- that Sony has up under their belt can do something different. So that's for me. That's what I actually w- I want to see, and I think that my my surprise will probably be the the, the new Vita or whatever they call it. Hey yo, I want to say something real quick before you know we move on for the PlayStation conference. We're not done yet. That's letting y'all know. <laughs> I just want you to notice the difference when we talk about the PlayStation conference. And when they speak about the Xbox conference, take, take you know, just look at it, observe the conversation, guys. We're talking about games here. We just we can list all day. This whole show can be about PlayStation E3 conference. Let's let you know. Facts. Oh but yeah, when, and I, I forgot Housemark. I want to see if Housemark gonna bring something new too. Oh yeah, they need that Matterfalls. Yeah, need, I want to yeah, see that Matterfall. I, man. I forgot about Housemark. Housemark is a smaller joint but i think they're they're coming along quite nicely and i think they're going to get bigger man um i don't, and, I don't know, I don't and, know. And one I don't more know. game one more thing real quick before you move on from house i don't know because um they they are going to be releasing next machina in june so i don't think they're going to like announce matter that'd be a conflict of interest so yeah you guys, was, you're not going to hear it from them everything looked dope when they showed it but it's one not more gonna thing, happen, it's not gonna happen. The, the game that i'm actually the most excited about is Quantic Dreams game because I'm a huge Quantic Dream fan. I lo- Heavy Rain is in my top five games of all time. I love that game, so I'm waiting for Detroit. I'm oh my god, I'm waiting for that game. So hopefully we get something from Detroit, a uh, release date or a window or something. Because we that, ain't, game, that game ain't coming to 2009. I want a window, at least a window, at least sometime next year. I'll be cool with that. So yeah, I'm done now. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I can so, go. Uh, we all we all wait for my naps now. Uh, <laughs> what happened, man? Oh, uh, we can stretch. Stretch out. Nah, this is the time when you go to sleep. This is uh, how we're going. 
We're gonna hear about that conference is more exciting. We're gonna hear about specs. It's gonna be like last year. No, that's not thirty people. For thirty people who are watching, we know what y'all came for here. We know what y'all came for. It's time to talk about specs. Number one, y'all came to hear Mama see the voice. We already know that's about fifteen viewers right there. It's here to hear Mama see. Don't even. Yeah, I can agree with that. Don't just don't. Your Mama see she do got a nice little voice in her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got like one of them hotline. Like I can go to sleep to your voice you now. Uh oh, you you know what? I looked up that Ashmere too stuff. That that that's that's kind of. I, I ain't. I'm not doing that. I'm just telling anybody in the comments that suggested that the last time. You know where yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. Some dudes. Some dudes. Some dudes. They wanna. They wanna pay for Mama C to be on a voicemail. I say start a PayPal and just start making voicemails. <laughs> So uh, we're going we gonna to start it off with our guest, the best bot who's been sitting patiently. I know he's been sitting up patient, ready to talk about the greatness that is Xbox. Go ahead, Kid Smooth. What you got, my brother? Uh, we're doing some predictions, right? Yes, sir. Uh, this is my favorite thing to freaking do. My favorite things. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this is going to be an easy one for Xbox um, because... Hardware reveals always win, but um, they're not gonna just win with the the hardware reveal of the beautiful Xbox One X. That's gonna be smaller and quieter than a PlayStation Four Pro. Um, <laughs> this thing is gonna give us, you know, true, not that dynamic bullshit. Oh, four K, four K at four hundred dollars, and it's also not only that. It's going to run all the PlayStation marketed games better. Mm. I'm talking about uh -oh. Star Wars Battlefront 2, 4K native, 60 frames per second. Oh my gosh. Right? Ooh, EA's going to come on stage and be like, every game in EA Access, 4K. They're going, they're going to show off. But all right, so, so forget the old games. You know what? What's going to happen? Mark is going to buy yourself going to be like, hey, hey, Todd Howard. Come on stage. We need you to do us do us a favor. Show them the Fable reboot you've been working on for us. Yes, Woo! please, please. Fable, done by Bethesda. Please. Xbox. <laughs> you know what's going to be a big kicker? It's going to be a big kicker. Uh oh. March 2018. Oh god. So that means they're going they're going to use those Fable assets from Fable Legends, and they're going to make something of it. Okay. So that's a prediction right there. We're going to have, uh, also, Microsoft is going to uh, bring uh, the newly unemployed IO Interactive and say, hey, we have a job for you. You guys are going to be working on Perfect Dark. We're going to get a little nice teaser. And we're going to get season two of Hitman timed exclusive. Right? So there's also... Also, we know because Microsoft has been very, very consumer friendly lately. You know, we already got refunds on deck for digital games. They gonna give us mm. digital trade-ins and game gifting. Oh, that's shoot. what we gonna get. Shoot. That's what we Man. gonna get, right? Ooh. All right. Ouch. And uh, let's Come see. On, what <laughs> Mama Cena, stop. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> We're gonna have uh, off the chain right now. Just stop. And so, and so this, you know, the Switch been you know having some some winning the MPDs. You know what I mean? Xbox been in third place, uh, but the Xbox One S, we're gonna go on another winning streak in twenty uh, uh seventeen because the Xbox One S is gonna drop to one ninety nine immediately, and it's gonna come with Game Pass. All right. Which op leaves the door open for Scorpio to be a four hundred dollar console, and it, e either console is going to be a no brainer, no buy, um, no brainer console to buy. Uh, State of Decay Two is going to be looking awesome in four K. Crackdown um, Three is going to have a shockingly amazing looking campaign, along with this real time destruction multiplayer. Uh, we're going to um, we're not going to see Halo, however. 343 is going to tease a brand new IP. What? There we go. Yes. Ooh. Um, We got 
I even they, they got to show off Scorpio somehow, and they don't want to do it showing old games. So Gears of War is going to get a a brand new story based DLC to show off that graphical 4K glory in Scorpio. Um, Forza Seven won't be a traditional Forza. It's going to be a hybrid between Forza Motorsport and Forza uh, Horizon. Yo, that will body that game. And it's going to be obviously running 4K 60 on Scorpio. All right. So um, as far as any other predictions, Destiny's going to, um, they're not going to say anything about Destiny, but Destiny 2 will be playable at E3 and 4K on a Project Scorpio. Right. Um, you know that game, uh, uh, Raiders of the Broken Planet, something that oh, will yeah. shit on uh, what's that game Cliff EB's working on? That's gonna be 4K, that, uh, Raiders of the Broken Planet 4K 60 Project Scorpio. That looks, book dope. It. that looks dope, but is that exclusive? I don't think that's exclusive. No, it's not exclusive, but it's gonna be exclusively 4K on a Project Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I think you guys were gonna talk about specs, but I didn't know we were gonna go exclusive specs. Okay, okay. Let's continue. <laughs> continue, continue, please. And I think I think Microsoft is going to have another you know wow moment um, when they introduce OG Xbox games playable through Xbox Game Pass with achievement support. Dope. That'd be dope. Mm. I, I, I definitely want to play something like Fusion Frenzy again. Like that was that was my my game. That was a fun. Yeah, what well, Fusion Frenzy is? It's a dope uh, co uh, co op couch couch co op game. But you could put hours to Fusion Frenzy. I would love to play that game again. Oh wow! All right, uh, kid, you good? Right. Damn, that was, that was good. some good, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm all hyped. All right, good my. Stuff. Well, you what know you what? Got? Here's the thing. We, we know what games that we can expect to see from Microsoft's E3 conference, okay? We know about State of Decay 2, but here's the thing. We haven't really seen a lot of gameplay, have we? So, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, the, the excitement and the expectation to finally see State of Decay 2's gameplay as well as Crackdown 3's gameplay on the Scorpio. And then I would, ex I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not quite sure what we're going to get out of Sea of Thieves as well. Um, I know we're, you know, we're still kind of in that alpha right now. So I don't know if, if a release date is going to be announced, but I expect a release date for State of Decay 2 and Crackdown 3 and awesome gameplay. Also from the ID side, the idea Xbox, I would like to see an update to Ashen and Below. Those are games that are exclusive to Xbox. Okay, and um, that, you know, we haven't really heard a lot about, haven't seen anything, so I would expect update as well as Cuphead. Let's please have an, a, a release date for Cuphead. Now, that's, and I'm expecting possibly two new IPs to be announced um, for E3. I'm not expecting this Mega 20 games to be announced because one thing Phil Spencer did say is don't expect me to get up and announce a game, you know, to just, you know, announce a slew of games. And then that's, not have a release date. Good. He's not gonna. He's not gonna do that. He's not gonna do that. Release games prior to being able to say too much time prior to being saying this is what's coming out. So I'm expecting maybe one or two new IP, AAA IP games maybe, and then I would expect them to pull out their uh, JRPG hats, like pull out perhaps like Lost Odyssey or Blue Dragon, and announce a reboot to. Uh, to those games as well. So that's kind of what um, I'm expecting. And of course, I kind of pick it back and off of Fable. I think Fable, there's definitely going to be either a reboot, a completely rebooted, or a Fable 4 announced. Okay. And I already talked about in the previous podcast, I expect Microsoft to, uh, to remove multiplayer from Xbox Live Gold. I said that last podcast, yeah, so that, I'll just that, reiterate. That shut down E three. That folks will lose their mind. Yeah, yeah. I. Yo, I can ask you a quick question. Yeah. Sure. You know, when PlayStation said the same thing Phil Spencer said last year about you know announcing games with release dates, they don't want to let down fans and all that stuff. How come PlayStation was getting bashed about it, but y'all praising Phil Spencer? Wait, 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 wait. So no, we, not, did we bash us three? 
I'm speaking, no I'm speaking as a whole. I'm speaking as a whole for your Xbox guys out there. Nah, people. we can't speak for no other man. I can't at least. Well, you know, but but the thing is, Bar, and I do I, I agree with you on that to to a point that that you know, because I was at the point where I was tired of hearing about games that weren't gonna come to fruition until three, four, five, maybe ten years down the road. So I was one of those people that did complain about that, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox. But what I'm saying is with Microsoft and with Xbox, they have announced games that were either canceled and we know about Scalebound or we haven't received release dates. And it's been like three years now, we, you know, so I think that's what he's talking about. And, and and Xbox gamers, as well as your guys, have given them grief about it. What do you all say? Well, when is State of Decay coming? When is Sea of Thieves coming? When is this and that? You know, you kind of tease and talk about that. So I'm all for not necessarily giving a release date as long as I know that the game is coming. You announce the game and I know that this I am going to be able to play this game within the next year or two. I'm okay with that. But don't give me a game that I won't be able to play until four or five years from now. I think I think we we ask when it, when are those games coming? Because y'all ain't got no y'all ain't got nothing else to play. We do as, have as things as, to play. Okay. As far okay. as exclusive. As far as exclusive. Yeah. How, how are you just saying that? We just rolled off Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2, Crack Down 3, Ashen, no, I'm, and I'm Below. Talking, yeah, but we and Killer seen, Instinct 4, I believe, is also going to be we haven't announced. Seen those what do you mean? We don't, those I'm aren't games? games. You, you don't have no games now exclusively to play. Why well, don't? You had three games all year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Uh, but I mean, I was in me. I was in the same boat on my PS4. My first three years, where all I had was Infamous Second nah, nah, Son and Until a, Dawn. That's a choice you chose. No, it wasn't a choice. You just said nah, I didn't. We, have, had a, we had a lot of games. Nah, that's, a, that's a choice. That, no, that, no, 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 no. The offering you, of games that place. You just said that, that I don't have any games to play on my Xbox. There, you have. There's Halo Wars Two, Voodoo Vince, and Phantom Dust. That was offered exclusively this whole year. But I just played uh, Forza Three, uh, no, I've, Hot I've Wheels. Seen my 2017. That's, I, that's I just, a, right, this is 2017. I just played Hot Wheels a couple of weeks ago. It's an awesome DLC. Awesome. That's, the, that's like me saying, no, "I got a guilty." No, Hot really Wheels. I'm gonna tell you, you've got to play it. It was actually pretty cool. So, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not denying that. I think it looks amazing. I've seen people live stream it, but I'm just saying that's the reason why people ask for that stuff mm -hmm. is because Xbox, on an offering standpoint, has been lacking. So we're trying to see where is the rest of the games at? What happened to these? Before we get to the, I'm, I'm gonna be as quick as possible. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say y'all can finish that back and forth. <laughs> it's, it's gonna always be a back and forth because you forget I'm on PlayStation as well. I'm so I, re I remember when that was the Spar Station. So don't Spar even go there, bro. As, as quick as possible. Just like I'm saying to you, how I was at oh, oh, Xbox oh, Spars oh, for because oh, I'm not Spars for games. I just told you I racked up ten thousand oh. achievement points. This month, so you tell me where the sparseness is. What, oh, I never said it was sparse. All right, then I'm just responding just to your blog. From, 20, from 2013 to 20, whatever you said, you had it wasn't sparse. That's oh. infamous second son. I have my I, I got my, PS, my PS4, my, I got my PS4 in 2013. I did Not, too, right? Wait, 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 let, let me, let, Barry, cut your PS4 on, dog, because I know you got everything on there. That, no, but before we get too deep, no, uh, -uh cause they no, no. Let, let them second soon, <laughs> March of twenty. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that. What was, did I have? Resolve. That what was. What did a, I have? A, Knack. A, a choice. What did I have? No, 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 no. What did I have to play? Resolve. Hey, hey, watch hey, watch your mouth when you talk about Resolve. Uh, no, no, no. See, you tell something. No, listen to you. Listen to you. What was the other game that uh, that you're? You said about Knack. We getting a Knack too. I'm so happy. We getting. Too. Yeah, the best game available for PlayStation mm -hmm. Next. So, nah. so yeah, y'all want to y'all want to go back to the Spar Station days because y'all forget this system was go. on it. I think y'all need to let Fame go ahead and talk and do his his prediction real quick. Go, go ahead, go ahead, Fame. Go ahead, Fame. My bad, yeah, man. I, I kind of just sat in the corner, like quivering, gonna let y'all fight. And I was like, hold <laughs> up, I'm the host of this damn podcast. You know it's E3 time, baby. Oh yeah, like this. I'm gonna be real quick. I'm gonna be real quick. Number one, the show, the show will start. Of course, they'll do three minutes. They're gonna announce Project Scorpio. Give it a name. It'll be three ninety nine off the rip. It'll be a couple of skews, probably about two skews, but it'll be three ninety nine for the lowest skew. Of course, we will get a Crackdown three release date. Um, the first and second Crackdown will come free. 
with the pre-order of Crackdown. Of course, we'll get State of the K uh, release date. Uh, Cuphead pre-order will go up um, the day of E3. That game is coming really soon. That pre-order will go up the day of E3. Um, I am with uh, Kiss Move or something's going on with uh, with um, with Bethesda. You know, Todd Howard or whatnot. I'm not sure it's going to be Fable, but I do think that we're making the game that will be a console exclusive for Xbox and PC. It'll be Xbox, Windows 10, and Steam. You see Fable being rebooted, not a Fable 4. Uh, I can see a Perfect Dark being rebooted as well. We will see at least two new IPs from Microsoft. Um, and going back to Scorpio, I think uh, if you guys remember, uh, Sa- is it Samus Blackley or Samus? The, yes. the- Famous, I think, something like that. We all remember. We, remember, we heard a while back that he was doing something else for Microsoft as far as maybe bringing back the Duke. So something tells me uh, Xbox is kind of kind of going to fall in line with Sony and PlayStation. I mean, Sony and Nintendo, and the new Scorpio controller will have a share button. Remember how the older Xbox had that black and white button? I can see something like that being integrated into the controller. And I think they're going to finally have a share button because the way we're sharing content now is not as easy as it is on the Switch and the PlayStation 4. Um, I do think Splinter Cell will be um, not necessarily a console exclusive, but a time exclusive. I think it will hit PlayStation, but I think we're going to, it's going to hit first as a uh, a time console exclusive for the Xbox. Uh, we'll, of course, we'll get an indie montage. Uh, we will get a release date finally for Below and Ash. And I, th- I think what's, kid, correct me, was Tacoma canceled? Huh? Tacoma. Took it, no, it's not canceled. Okay. So Below, Ash, and Add Tacoma, I think we'll finally get some release dates for those. For those games, and then I'm with Kiss Move as well. I think uh, we'll fi- we will finally see those OG Xbox games come um, to either Game Pass, or they will be have some type of marketplace on the Xbox One, or they will begin to be getting to be rolled out. I do think Kotor, Kotor, either is going to be a new one or a, a reboot will be releasing. I think that will be ex- uh, a console exclusive uh, to the Xbox. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I, I see. Got, they got a lot of faith, man. About upload studio. You think they're gonna do anything with that? I, I've been hearing some people say they think Mixer is going to let you start capturing gameplay. Well, I think Mixer is dope. I think that's a unique. Yeah. First, I was I was out on the whole Beam thing, but then actually you can record, you know, four people, four screens at one time. I think that's dope for gameplay. Yeah, it makes it like, let's say it for, should be dope. I heard the the latency is better too. Oh yeah, easily. Yes. The latency, the quality, and the interaction with your viewers depends on how big it gets. How that latency gonna be though? Because Twitch at one time had better latency, and then all those people starting getting on it, and yeah, the latency just got worse and worse and worse because more people started getting on it. So let me ask you guys a question real quick. Um, so the games such as Cuphead, Crackdown, all that stuff, um, let's say they do show it off and they actually get like release dates or release windows. Do those games have to finally release this year for it to be a success? Or are you guys okay with all that stuff not coming out this year and being no, like coming out I, I to think, I think Crackdown's coming out this year. Uh, State of the Case coming out this year. Sea of Thieves is going to be spring of next year at, at earliest. I don't think Sea of Thieves is coming this year. <laughs> Like I said, I think Cuphead is either going to release their E3 or uh, I really think it's going to go off a pre-order at E3. It's time for that game to come out this year. Below and Ash, I think um, both of them are getting a release date. I'm not sure if both are coming out this year, maybe spring of next year alongside with Sea of Thieves. But definitely Cuphead, uh, State of the K2, which I'm super excited about, um, which that would be dope for Mixer. You know, you got four people and now there's co-op. Y'all all be on the same screen as your stream. I think that's pretty dope. Um that's dropping this year and Crackdown. Um, and of course, I, I, I definitely will see some new IPs, but those three I know for sure. Cuphead, Crackdown, and Sea of Thieves are releasing this year. Yeah, they definitely need to release this year without a doubt. Yeah, Cuphead looks extremely dope, yo. I can't wait to try that game. That joint just looks hot. I just like the art style. Art style looks amazing. Yeah, and Crunk Crunk getting her Xbox this year, so we know she. Yeah, gonna I need to win one of those uh one of those prizes next time y'all have one. <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? Let me get that joint to the side and be like, yeah, Crunk Girl won. Yeah, I won that. 
definitely. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that. And you know what? I'm gonna be like kids. Smooth say he on a PlayStation. I'm gonna be antisocial. I ain't gonna have nobody to talk to. Uh, <laughs> you got it. That's a. That's a. That's a. That's a. Nah, yeah, that is a myth. That's a myth. There's plenty of people to talk to. <laughs> when he went on Rand's thing, talking about you gonna be, uh, you gonna be, uh, what you said over there. Uh, it's I lonely. Say. Yeah, he said you're gonna be lonely. Nah. I said you just lonely. You ain't nah. you gonna got nobody to talk to. Yeah, because I my, 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 to talk to. My Xbox <laughs> has been, you know, lonely, but I don't I don't complain about it. You know what I mean? People don't want to get in a party chat with, with Jay Bar like what this pony's on Xbox, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, it's you know, like, Xbox ain't man, I ain't gonna probably have nobody but y'all. And kids move, he don't hit nobody up. <laughs> Kiss move hit me up one time. Yeah, like, hey, man, is- can I can I share play Knack? One of the, the best features out on PSN that Xbox doesn't have. They might copy yeah, that. Yeah, I give you that. I'm gonna uh, give you that bar. Thing, share play, thing, share play it is is sweet. When it's not Minecrafting, it is sweet. It really is because uh, I mean, what what? And, and I'm being I'm being for real though. It, it really is because you know you know especially if you have friends and. You know, let me see. Let me show. You know, you want to. You have a certain person you want to kind of team up with, a party up with, and then y'all can just watch each other play the game or whatever. So I got to be careful how I say things now, because my my team always kind of accusing me of stuff. Mm. But if you want to watch, watch we, each. We can tell it like it is. <laughs> watch each other. Um, you know, gameplay. And I, I think <laughs> that's kind of cool, though. It really is. And I've been saying that for like a year or two that. Microsoft needs to bring some type of share play feature to uh, Xbox. Don't they got something like that? But I guess it's not yeah. really a share play, but it's um, what do they call it? Test drive or uh, side passenger seat? Something where somebody else can take control of your controller. You talking about co-pilot? Yeah. No, what are, no that ain't. That's, no, that's just where someone else can uh, get another controller and they can play the game with you if you, you know if you're together locally. That's local. That's okay, local, okay. but I never use it. So I wasn't. I wasn't. No, oh, this is. You can actually have. You can pass a controller online to someone else to play the game for you, or or you, and on yeah, PSN, I mean, you can actually can play together, like yeah. split screen locally online. And even if you don't have that game, which is sweet, and then you can just either even watch that person play the game. Let's say you need tips and you're stuck in an area, and you want to say, "Look, this is where I am," and it's, "Oh, this is what you do," or whatever. So I, th- I mean that's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, you can also like I think it's you go to like you in a party chat and then you be like uh, I want to watch your gameplay. It's just like if you were streaming online, but you just streaming with them, yeah. and then you can like give them to give them your controller, and then basically they like they have no control over the game and it's all on you. It's dope though. Like when I first saw share play, like when it was actually working. I was like, what the hell? Like, I've never thought in a million years you'd be able to do that. I don't know how they did it, but that is it's crazy how they do it. Um, Quick it's, question. It's a, it's a good thing for people who don't have a game and they just want to try it before they buy it. It's a good thing. Even though I've always said at the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the only real winner that comes out of E3 are the gamers because these companies are fighting back and forth to win our money. But right. for the sake of, you know, people wanting to, to get a winner and for entertainment purposes, even though I kind of think you guys know where everyone somewhat stands, we could be shocked, you never know. The panel, I would like to ask you, before E3, which company would have the better showing? Which company, Microsoft or Sony, would have a better E3? Who wins E3 2017 between the two companies? Mm. Who wins? One thing, one thing, why? One thing I and do. Why? One thing I do like about Microsoft press conferences is their pacing of their shows. Um, is really is really you know well done. I think where you know I, I guess you know they shown the upbeat games with upbeat games and you know whatever whatever. The pacing of their show is always. It's never been like a a boring show for Microsoft. You know, Sony did have some shows where the pacing is just off. They would show like. Like uh, Mortal Kombat 2014. Then they show, yeah, then they show dreams right after. Like, come on, that's that's not even like fun. <laughs> but last year, on how they did it and PlayStation Experience, that that flow was just that 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 was amazing. So, with that being said, I think Sony has learned their lessons as far as with pacing and what to show and when to show it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they will have the better conference 
uh, this year at E3, hands down, with the better games to be shown that people actually want to play. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Um, I want, like I said, like like Fame said before, um, when it comes to E3, we all win at the end of the day. No matter what the console is, we all win. But of course, we're gonna go with our preference. I think Sony's gonna win it. Um, but I, for for the people who are not paying attention to Nintendo, I think they should. Like last year, people didn't think Nintendo was gonna win E3, and some people still don't think it. But Zelda took the sh- one game, one E3. I think the game. fact that they're not having a conference is gonna. Yeah. Because I of, mean, it, it is what it is, though, man. Nintendo, I, I mean, uh, to be honest, like, Mario Odyssey is a game that I, I look forward to more than some of what Microsoft and what Sony is showing. It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> um, I don't think Nintendo's getting much respect, and they're selling like crazy right now. Um, Nintendo, they, they don't got a show, though. They got that tree yeah, I mean, they do and they don't. They that, that, Nintendo's just freaking weird. They don't want to be in it. They don't want to have a show, but they got a tree house. It's almost the same. I like. I love Nintendo, but I can't respect that. I'm, have I'm, a show. I wish they would have had a show, for, uh, a show for Zelda because it deserved it. Zelda looked like it was a really good game. Um, and the reviews, you see what the reviews gave it. Um, but I think Sony's going to win this year, but I'm not counting. I don't never count out Microsoft either. The last couple of shows, Microsoft has been having really good shows. It's just for me, Sony shows have been better. But I'll never count Microsoft out. I'm actually looking more forward to Microsoft show than I than Sony because I kind of, I I, I I got a feeling what Sony's going to show, but I'm really excited to see what Microsoft is going to show. Microsoft was a wild card showing, you know, with them not really yeah. doing all of the uh, third party marketing deals. So whatever budget they had, that money just sitting there. So that's a wild card. We, don't know, we, don't know what we to just expect. don't know about it. They got third. Oh, they got a few, no doubt. No <laughs> I doubt. think they got Assassin's Creed. They probably got Splinter Cell. Uh, they might have the crew. Um, they probably got some games that we don't. They might have Need for Speed. You never know. So they gonna they, and then I th- I think do they have still have uh, FIFA or NHL any of the sports games? I think FIFA's going to Sony. I think uh, they still got Madden. Madden. Okay. Madden. I don't think. Uh, Microsoft ever lose mad because of the deal that they that they have with the NFL. I think it'd be weird for the NFL to have that deal with uh, Microsoft, and then you got PlayStation plastered on the on, on the cover of Mad. This doesn't make sense. To me. Yeah, so they're gonna have plenty of of marketing. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be plenty of that, so I'm not worried. So we'll see. Okay. Nick, I already know you're gonna say Xbox, but uh, <laughs> you, all, you already know, man. What's the what's up? Um, no, I I really uh think that. Uh, Microsoft's show is going to be the most entertaining for me uh, because I'm gonna be there, and I'm I'm anticipating sitting next to Kiss Move when they reveal Black Jesus. <laughs> when they reveal Black Jesus on stage, I'm looking for Kiss Move to lose his shit. You know, the I'm looking Jesus. for him to lose his shit. No, real talk. Like when they reveal Black Jesus, I'm just gonna be looking at Kid <laughs> that, the whole time. Looking for that you know single kid to come out his eye. like BG did. Oh my god. No, this dude, he's going to jump out his seat. He is going to catch the Holy Ghost. We're going to have church up in there. Hey, make I'm sure you're recording you. it, Nick. Be recording kids' moves. When I am. No, we're going to talk. I am. I'm going to be recording this, man. I'm serious. This is going to be the most entertaining shit I have ever, ever, ever been a part of, ever. So, um, yeah, it's going to be, like Barry said, a freaking movie in there. I'm definitely Kid, Kid you're going to the Sony conference too, right? Yeah, boy. See? I will be in there. He's gonna be in there talking shit, boy. I'm, I'm bad. I win. Uh, yeah, no, I, like, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna sit like there like and watch like a um a well raised child. That's what an Xbox hat on. Yeah, what? with my uh, there's gonna be an Xbox on my shirt. Um, but I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear a Zelda hat out of respect for the Breath of the Wild. Like, no, I know Horizon Zero Dawn came out this year, but. Breath of the Wild was the greatest. I'm dying. Make, do make sure you hang with the big, I will wear the big boys out there so you get good seats. Cause you, I know Red them gonna have really good seats because they know people. <laughs> make sure you. I mean, I'm just, I'm just surprised to be there, but I mean, exactly. I'm enjoying the show. You know what Don't I mean? Don't ever be surprised, man. Like, I, like when you were talking on Twitter before, I was so mad at you. You was like, I don't want to go because I'm not going to the Xbox now. I'm like, boy, you should be 
mm-hmm. like so happy that you just going because you know how man this is like Christmas to us. Do you know how many people want to go to E3 that are gamers? Like I, I, I'm, I'm sure, but no, I was just having my hissy fit hoping somebody you, here. Yeah. Mama Cedar, that he about made me go through the screen. I was like, boy, if you don't stop whining. Boy, I'll be right back. Thankful. <laughs> but it worked. It did. He made so, me mad. <laughs> <laughs> he made me mad. I'm like, it boy. worked because he going to the Microsoft conference. Yeah, he's going going anyway. And he going to Sony. Yeah, he's going to be a Shoot. I'm happy though. I'm hey. happy for everybody who's going. It's I'm like, going to E3, but I haven't gotten to anybody conference. Girl, you better I'm gonna sneak you in. I'm gonna sneak you in. You heard me. Unfortunately, Bye, I was going to E3. Me and Nick was prepared to go together, but um, I'm in the process of getting the house, and I had I had to be an adult, so I gotta put some stuff uh, first. So uh, I actually had to vacate my E3 spot this year, but I'm happy for the rest of my team that's going for the Tick family to get to going. Uh, I'm glad Nick is going for sure. That's my brother. And so next year. You know he'll be leading me out there. He'll be leading the team out there next year. So I'm happy for everybody to get to go, man. It's it's our it's our Super Bowl. You know, next next year, next year. No, ain't nobody going to work. (laughs) Ain't nobody going to work. People taking off. Oh yeah, I took off. I took (laughs) off. I mean, I I had time off anyway because I was going. So I already took the time off. So I'm gonna be off. I'm gonna be off and be watching. For the past three four years, I've taken off. I'm like, yo, I'm not going. Like, me get those for that Monday and that Tuesday. Let me get that. Yeah, I'm off. Yeah, I'm off that Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> you know, I, I think uh, before we wrap up, I think one thing a lot of people um, got to take account as far as um, what Microsoft is doing, them moving to Sunday, I think is huge. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to leave a they, they want they want to leave a better taste in your mouth for a longer period of time. You know, we all know, you know, all the fun stuff, you know, being, you know, fanboy aside, we all know Sony brings out them games and Sony will make you forget about anything anybody else did if it came before them because they just hit you with so much stuff. I think Microsoft moving to Sunday was a brilliant idea. They can leave, like I said, a better taste in your mouth for longer. And I still, when that, when that, they said that was happening, I still predicted that they will be dropping content after the show. Not necessarily something huge or maybe E3 stage worthy, but I think on Mixer or whatever the case may be, whatever they be using the stream, I think they will be continually dropping content over the next over the next 24 hours after their show was done. And I think he does that too. That'd be a great platform for them to have if they have any questions. Maybe they didn't see something they want to hear about Project Scorpio. If people ask those questions, and Microsoft will have time to answer those because they'll be able to control the narrative of their show for at least 24 hours. I Yo, so I can ask you a question uh, for the Xbox people. Yeah, I guess the PlayStation guys. Uh, could, could answer as well uh, when it comes to their side. All right, so Microsoft press conference. What will they have to do to make that conference a bad show, in your opinion? Oh uh-huh. man, uh, show, don't show anything new. If you don't, if you don't show anything new, if, if literally they go on stage and just show repeats and nothing new, that'd be a horrible conference, regardless of a project Scorpio. Regardless, they have to show new content. Like I said, um, they 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 had to script these all, all these marketing deals. And Phil talked about, you know, we're gonna do less third party, so try to do more, more first party, so try to invest more first party. Well, it's been three years since you made that proclamation. This is your third year. This is about time to show what you've been working on since you became me. I know Game Pass and Scorpio was on your agenda when you first started, and now those are coming to fruition. Now it's time to show. It would make into you know exclusive content, first party games, whatever the case may be. So if they don't show anything new, dead. It's 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 a wrap. They cannot show only repeats of E3. Showing us gameplay of uh, uh State of the K two and all stuff is cool. Crackdown cool. Well, give me a release date cool. I want that. I'm happy with that. But you have to show new content. You have to, regardless if he want to keep stuff close to his vest, to his close to the vest or not. If they don't show new content, it's a wrap. Mm. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna be the opposite of what Nick said earlier in the show. They better not talk. I don't want to hear no talking. I don't want him. No, I, you don't you, hear no talking at all. No, no. You want them to sign language? No, I want them to talk like they did last year. You give me a oh. little bit, and then after that, I want him no more. Get off the stage. <laughs> no, kick you off the stage. I don't want to see you. Oh. John Layton, you cool, but you're not Jack Trenton. 
I don't want you to be Jack Trenton. <laughs> don't talk so much. You tell us what you're going to tell us and slide your ass off stage. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Last year and P- in the last two PS, like now it's the last two, the P- the first PSX and the and, um the last PSX and this year's E3 and last year's, I mean, um, last year's E3 is how I want the show to go. I want, I don't want them to do all that talking. So if they had to talking to you, you think it's a fail? Yeah, I don't want all that talking unless you showing the Vita and you show like you explaining that. Other than that, like if you showing showing something like we didn't get all that explaining when they showed Horizon and it was a brand new IP. Are they trying talk- to go bring VR on stage? They didn't talk when VR came on. When when they showed VR last year, they I think, I think they're gonna they're gonna mention VR, but it's not going. Yeah. Yeah, you don't think it's time for them to push to push the VR finally? I mean, they're not. I mean, I don't don't think they they, they, they they push. VR is being pushed. It's just it's not something that you can um have on stage and show. They do not. When they they try to show it on stage, it's something you can't show. You just have to. You show the games for it. I think last year is the perfect way to push VR. Just show the games for it. Cause they had a lot of pretty good games they showed last year, and the, um, some of the games they showed at PSX. Here's here's why I think how Microsoft can mess up though. Uh, they spend too much time um, talking about Scorpio. Like I, I think that if they spend too much time talking about it and they kind of get too deep into the specs and all this other stuff, it's gonna be kinda like kind of like boring to me. Yeah, that's like, kind of why they sent it to Digital Foundry. Because yeah. So yeah, money. that. So hopefully, you know, hopefully they won't spend too much time on it. They'll show improve more than anything. And um, like Fame said, it, it has to be like new games. Like I'm, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with you know showing 4K and all that stuff. But 4K on some old ass games and stuff, nah, fam. We need some new games. You know, right now, what that's what gamers want. They want games. Yeah, new hardware is exciting and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, gamers want games. They want new games. And it's time for Microsoft to show improve. And deliver on the promises that they had, you know, stated like years ago, and actually show improve now. This this is the E3 that Microsoft gonna have to show improve. Like real talk with these games more than more than Scorpio. I know everybody's hyped for Black Jesus to come save the Xbox community, um, but I'm just saying they gotta show these new IPs, these new Where games. Where did Black Jesus come from? <laughs> See how you can take shots. No, this said it before another another mm-hmm. show, and somebody mm-hmm. got mad about it, so he's not gonna let it. He's gonna keep on saying black. Jesus. I'm gonna keep saying. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying. I call it. I call Scorpio Black Jesus because it is the savior of the Xbox community. They've been downtrodden and hurt. Really They've been downtrodden and hurt for the past three years, and Black Jesus is coming to save the day. And so I've been using that ever since because people get mad, and I like making people mad. <laughs> Damn, Yo, I'm scared. Hashtag, hashtag it sounds make, scared. Xbox. Hey yo, <laughs> yo, nigga, demons, man. Yo, I am. You know, I'm happy for the Xbox guys because I've been telling this, I've been saying this this for like three years now that they do care about resolution. Some of them is going to front and not say it, but yo, when they re- reveal that console and show us that, yo, I'm going to have the best of times because I'm going <laughs> to dig in the archive for all the debates that I had. I'm blasting all of them, bro. <laughs> At the same time, bro, you got the same people who, who swore up and down that, you know, 1080p made you a better gamer. How yeah, it's it's so much it's better. So it's on both sides. It's on it both. Sides. Yo, I, I never, I never, Everybody. I never twisted my tune. I said resolution does matter. Having a, a a a higher resolution, a clear picture, it makes your games look better. You know what I mean? That is something that was it set apart this generation from last generation. We, we wasn't getting native 1080p games like that. So when I was saying, yeah, that's part of a next gen purchase for me. Everybody was like, oh, you shouldn't care about that. You shouldn't care about that. But yeah, now right. all the same people that are telling me that I should have cared about it, they you 4K, 4K, I can't believe it. I can't. I bought a pro because I got better resolution. <laughs> you know what though? You, you know gonna dig and go deep sea diving in those in those search bars. <laughs> I know part. I, yo, back <laughs> back in those days, I was debating Xbox guys left and right. This the the debate with K Mega, no disrespect K Mega. I he he was even bashing resolution in that debate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a movie. <laughs> when you hit that search bar. Yo, that, that, that debate, bar that debate ain't going to ever die, bro. I, I, people still <laughs> reference that debate inside the gaming groups, bro. Like, that debate was, huh, that was fun, yo. That's probably the best, most fun I had, you know. Yeah, I, I, yo, I don't <laughs> know if you can't make it like that, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? We we set our differences apart, but, but I'm just saying, like, I'm just bringing the point that even in that in that debate, 
resolution was being brought up about resolution babies and all that stuff. And I'm just like, what are you guys talking about now? I'm I'm not I'm not saying that you could can't be excited for Scorpio. You should be, but don't don't try to you know change your narrative up from what you were saying. You know what I mean? You were saying something about you don't care about one aspect, but now you do because your side of your your brand has it now. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Everybody and it's keep the exact back. same thing though. When we say we don't want the back and forth from Xbox guys, you gotta say that to the PlayStation guys. I'm like, I know where I was when I was hearing hearing the, the the exact opposite of what you're saying two years ago you know two three it's, it's the same thing all we do is flip sides and, and yeah. take whatever narrative the narrative, the narrative is always going to change it always yeah. is and resolution means, resolution to me always forget. but it was always it's games always been the forefront that's the reason why i play on playstation that's the reason why my i have a whole bunch of games that you know what i mean i'm playing right. on playstation Games are always going to take the oversight, but right. you lose that. And when the Xbox the was releasing its its slew of AAA first party games, and PlayStation wasn't, what was being said at the time? Indie station, but, and weren't you guys defending those indies and saying these are still games? You and know, that's I not, was. not these games. Oh, you, you that's not not. Know I was. All right I then, because I remember the Xbox still, guys. We're still, well, I remember we're still that. hyping the indies now. But at the end of the day, because a lot of people, this this is the problem with a lot of people when they look at PlayStation. They created ID Xbox. Now, it's, it's a lot. Everybody keeps saying PlayStation wasn't delivering the game. PlayStation have offered more exclusive games than Xbox. The whole time you saying that PlayStation are having any games, it's just you don't want. I to didn't say that. PlayStation. Yeah, didn't never been have a games. PlayStation. And, and, and just that, like you told me, the Xbox don't have any games, and I just told you, no. yes, they do, and I well, played I, them. Well, I've said I've said Xbox don't have any exclusives. Exclusives. Yes, and they do have fact. exclusive. There are games that I play on Xbox right now that are exclusive to Xbox. They they are less exclusive than um, Xbox than on PlayStation. Even the yes, years that you that said there's no cool. games. The total on number, yes. That, that and, it's, I, and it's, I agree it's with all, that. It's all, it's all the matter of deciding what you want to play or not. If you're looking at uh, from an objective standpoint, there's always been more every year. There's always been more games exclusively on PlayStation. And that's true. But because you have more doesn't mean Xbox doesn't have any. I'm that's not saying what I'm Xbox saying. didn't have any. I said Xbox is offering less. Right. But uh, exactly. So say that you have that's less what, exclusives. Don't say you don't have any exclusives. That's what I'm saying. I said you guys have only had three exclusives. All right, we year. just heard it out of your mouth. We're not saying the Xbox Compared, don't have no exclusives. I'm, I never said. I said they have less. Compared to the competition, it is a it is getting it's a slaughter fest out here. <laughs> it's a slaughter. That's why people is questioning where's Cuphead, where's State of the K two, where's Crackdown, because just looking at the competition side of things, from January to now. There's been exclusives all the way, like six each month for PlayStation. And that's really, compared and that's to really great. And the PlayStation has come into its own this this gen. 2017 has been really great for PlayStation. And I'm happy for PlayStation. I really am. I'm just not in denial or going to pretend that it's always been this way this generation because it has not. It has. It has. It has. No, it has not. No, it has I mean, not. It has. And I know that being a PlayStation owner myself. Because I can, I can list off games and you'd be like, nah, I, I'm not going to play that. But that's what I'm saying. On a subjective standpoint, right? Yes, you I have agree your with preferences. You. you have games that you like to play, just like I have games. If Crunk yeah, got games, she'll I'm say, saying. I'm not interested. Just like when I mentioned Skyrim, I heard somebody say, well, I'm not interested in that. But that's, that's not my kind of game. game. My, you know, so we all have choices, right? That's my art. That's my And argument. I give PlayStation variety. I give them that because they do have a variety of games that cater to all different types of genres and different styles than Xbox. So I do give that to them. And, but yeah, and that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That's my argument. On a subjective mm -hmm. standpoint, I understand you. But if you look at things objectively, what you're saying is wrong. That's what I'm trying to say. Place. No, what I'm not, what I'm saying isn't wrong. What did I say that was wrong? You said that PlayStation didn't have games like that when you had it, like oh, 2013, 14. Whatever. I said they're AAA. They're AAA first first um, party exclusives. Well, you can say that for my. Or not, and I am. I'm saying the same thing. In 2013, 14 into 15, PlayStation's AAA first party exclusives. We're weak. That's not a, that's not a, a lie. That's the, that's a fact. I would say I would say 2015 it was weak, not third, not 14, 
not 13. 2014, there were second son that released in March of, of 2014. Yeah, the what, second what son sec dropped, infamous uh, second son? Yeah, because didn't in 2015 Sony come out and like, kind of admit that their their lineup was a little yes, they like, called from Sony. Yeah, Sony, 20, Sony, 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 Sony said that in 2015. They said, uh, 2015. It wasn't like a brief moment. You can't say there was never a moment where there wasn't anything going. There was a brief it was, moment. It was like a year or two. This is the point. This is the point where people not understanding. It's a difference. 2015, they said that they the first party studios. Um, exclusive games this year was sparse. That doesn't mean that it wasn't exclusive that from third party or second party studios. That's where people is is mis is misquoting that quote. On a first party standpoint, from Sony um, studios, yes, it was sparse. But if you look at it, there's been a lot of exclusives that came out for PlayStation 2014, 2015, 2016. Oh, a, a lot. There's a lot. 2017. There is a lot. But first party wise, just like if I was to say, I right, what first party exclusives came out for Microsoft? You probably gonna list me two for each year. Is that a lot? No, it's not. But everybody keeps saying it's a lot of Microsoft still. No, cause they, they bundle first party and third party and second party together. But for PlayStation, they only think about first party when it comes to first party studio games. And when they see the Japanese game, they're like, no, nah, that don't count. Get it out of here. You know, I, I mean? will that's, say that's the... just I will say to wrap it up, I mean, Sony been dropping games. And I mean, I don't think I don't think we can deny. You know, bro, you're right. You know, they when they didn't have first party, they had third party games. They've been dropping games. So it is what it is. But for the people who send us in Xbox, Xbox has no games. You just you just showing your inner fanboy. I'm sorry. Oh, it, that's yeah. absolutely true. It's like um, uh, this weekend we got a game dropping. You know, it might not be a exclusive, but it's a console exclusive. Like the Culling is dropping on Xbox uh, Xbox on the second June second. People are excited about this game, but you know, better get thrown to the side. Oh, Xbox ain't got no game, but yeah, this game's dropping. It's all about whether or not you want to play it. It's like a game like Rise and Shine. I didn't hear folks talking about Rise and Shine like Nick was tweeting it out when they came when they got announced for PlayStation. But I'm telling you, bro, this is on Xbox in February. Whether yeah, it was time, whether it was timed or not, whatever the case might be, these games are on this console. It's whether or not you choose to accept them. That's the difference. There are plenty. That's the difference. That's yeah, whether or not please. people accept them, whether or not you as a person accept them as games. To say either side, I mean, it's, it's a fact. It's a known fact. PlayStation's been dropping games. Yes, it's a known fact. Xbox has not dropped as many games. Fact. Known fact. But the but to try to use your fanboy opinion and say Xbox has no games, you're just showing you and the fanboy. Regardless of regardless of who you got, what you're running, what you're trying to make yourself seem better, feel better about yourself, you're showing you and the fanboy. Yeah, that that's a fanboy. That's a fanboy statement to say Xbox had no games. But when I when I say stuff like that, I'm talking about as far as just staying on the competition level. Like I feel like 2014, 15 Xbox was on a stride. They was dropping a consistent level of games. 2016 and this year, it's like they're decreasing each year. I'm like, yo, it's getting bad. In, in my opinion, you know what I mean. Like last year, I had my Xbox. You know what I mean? I played one exclusive that whole year that that really interests me. I had stayed, I had, I bought on Recall, but I didn't even launch that game yet. But that was Quantum Break. From Quantum Break to whatever holiday season, I'm just like, okay, <coughs> oh, what else? There's nothing. You know what I mean? That joke was a sitting. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, I could have probably played a a a a, a multi plat or a, a certain indie game, but. When I look at it, I'm like, I'm getting so much offering on the PlayStation side. I'm not just going to jump on Xbox just to play something that I'm not really too too much interested in. You know what I mean? That's that's how I'm looking at it. That's that's why I always that's why if you hear me say something like that, yeah, it can be from a stand, fanboy standpoint. I'm I'm not saying that they don't have any games, but it, it's it's coming from a subjective standpoint, but also from an objective standpoint where you just compare the the, the level of games being offered. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think we could go on forever with this topic, but we do need to wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. Uh, wrap it up. <laughs> That's what I do every night. No, I'm just, I'm just. Oh. 36 and 0. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> We all, we all gonna wrap. Uh, I want you guys to make sure you check out everybody on the panel. Follow them on Twitter. Check out the channels. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit. Of, we're gonna do an outro before we dip up out of here. We're gonna start with my light-skinned brother, Nicodemus X. Yo, what's good? It's Nicodemus, the king himself. It's been a great podcast. Shout out to our guests. 
uh, Bari and uh, my man Kiss Smooth, you know what I'm saying, like old times in this podcast. He's some great gamers out here in these streets. And, um, yeah, we out here, man. Been a great show. And um, as I always say, PlayStation is the best station, and we are the best mm. station. Oh, mm. my God. Good wow. night. Wow. Good what night. disrespect. Good, oh, my good God. Good night. Good night and good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. Ooh. That's disrespectful, B. Ooh. That's disrespectful. And we we got the beautiful and always classy Mama Cita. I don't know if I'm always classy according to you and Nicodemus. No, you did good. You did good tonight. You did good tonight. You did good tonight. Like fame, fame, fame almost crossed the line because he kept saying something about um Microsoft leaving a bad taste in your mouth. He kept saying that. <laughs> like, like if you would have said that, if you would have said that, Mark, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that, we would have got you. But, yeah, he was a little suspect with that. I ain't gonna lie. So you did good tonight. Wait a minute. Hold on. Time out. Before we, before we continue this outro, Nick, you can't talk about suspect. What? Because you clearly said when women no longer interested, <laughs> oh, the ship. So don't speak, fam. Right. Don't speak on suspect. <laughs> Like that, you have no proofs. <laughs> yeah, we do. It's on the podcast. And me and Mama Cita was like, "Oh, but like, we got to re reiterate this conversation." What? Yeah, what? yeah. We, so we, Nick can never talk about it. suspect ever. He sure can. Nah, that can never be. Me and Mama Cita was like, "What? You sleeping on the couch, bro? Like, where I'm, you going?" I'm light skin, and women love me too much for that to be the case. Oh you know no. Saying? So, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. You know. My, my favorite know. inside, a crunk girl. What's happening, man? This is a really, really good show. Great debate. And like I say, man, we can always do this, have fun, debate, and still come out as gamers. At the end of the day, E3 is all about us. They buying for our attention. Forget Sony's, whatever you want to call it, forget Microsoft shared stocks and stuff. At the end of the day, it is all about the games. That's all I want to see, and I want everybody to flourish, man. I want everybody to do good because if they do good, that means we do good. So um, check me out on Twitter um, at Crunker711. Um, check out SheAttack.com, and I think – I'm not sure if Erica's going to be at E3 this year, but uh, we will be doing a show for E3. Uh, watching I don't think she is. I think she yeah. said she's not. Uh, she went last year. Erica went last year and represented she. So who all on the panel is coming? I know myself, Kid, Nicodemus. Bar, are you coming? Uh, no, not this no. year. I'm going to okay. try next year. We'll be at PSX, though. We're gonna, I'm trying to get to PSX. Yeah, I'm trying to get to PSX, too. Oh, yeah, PSX, I'm in the movie. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah the <laughs> I hope they bring it back to Las Vegas. I hope so. So uh, I, hope, I hope some of y'all didn't bootleg it. Bootleg this. For those who actually bought a ticket to this movie. <laughs> 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 It's gonna be a movie they, this year. Though. came and rocked with us mm-hmm. today. A lot of big expectations. Yeah, man. Um, I definitely appreciate the insight. Uh, sorry, Mama CD. You know, I was arguing. We're just going back and forth. I, I could That's never. What the show was about. It's I so could never. I could never argue with such a voice like that, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, when, I, when I come out there, I'm gonna take you on a little date or something, man. You know? Oh. It's okay. on. Okay. Oh. Marcus in the chat about to about to go off on you, dog. Yeah, yeah, that's so Marcus wanted to be. I'm okay with that. Hey, girl, man, status right here. You know what I mean? But, All um, right. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now, Don't let freak you out over here. So, um, definitely, guys. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, Jay Bari, or check out uh the online tournaments that we do under the online arcade. Uh, we just had injustice. Two tournament that's on my man gaming with personas channel and we're going to be having street fighter 5 coming up very soon on my channel there will be giveaways uh and and all that good stuff there but we have a whole bunch of tournaments coming up tekken 7 any fighting game you can think of on playstation <laughs> you can do it but i'm thinking about i'm thinking about killer instinct but i gotta see if there's an interest uh for that but yeah man um definitely appreciate it guys but it's your boy jay barry and i'm gone all right. And then the last but not least, you know, the host of the newest Xbox centric podcast, Planet Xbox, the best bot who will be uh, reading the scripts for Black Jesus at E3. Yeah. It's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy to be on, uh, be here, Double XP, uh, bi weekly, Wednesdays, a great show. Um, 
My bad, Nicodemus with the trophy life. Uh, <laughs> like, thanks for that. Thanks. <laughs> um, but just like um, this E3, I will be asking every PlayStation fan I run into uh, at E3, has Xbox won your heart? And I will oh have them recite God. this. Oh my I will God. have them recite this. Are you taking a camera? X Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the snap back to the back, and <laughs> I'm gonna it's gonna we're gonna have like the uh, the face cam. I'm gonna get red. I'm gonna get Tony Polanco. I'm gonna make them say oh, all glowing, beautiful slow. things about Xbox. It's gonna be it's gonna be on and popping, right? Mm -hmm. I might uh, slip a couple roofies in there too. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be E3. Dog. We are never, never <laughs> going to forget. We're never going to forget this experience. So, but every everybody will be saying um, this time or around Sunday. Well, what next Sunday? Xbox is the best box, and um, I am the best bot because everyone will be converted to Xbox next Sunday. All right, kids. All right. Thank you guys for having me. This has been episode 27 of the Double SP Podcast. If you guys have watched live, we really appreciate you guys rocking with us today. If you are watching on the Tick Network channel, much appreciated. There will be some, some stuff edited out if you guys want to hear. Now, if you don't want to hear the beep noise, <laughs> come watch it live. If you're listening on Podbean or iTunes, thank you guys so much for listening to us. Uh, this has been episode 27 of the Double XP Podcast. And just so Kofi don't hate me, here we go. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>